well-developed eye-hand coordination um, in order to become a microsurgeon. In Andrea Palombi's case, another microsurgery technique is indicated. It's called arthroscopy, from the word arthro, meaning joint, and scope, to look. A lighted viewing tube, called an arthroscope, is inserted through a small incision, allowing the doctor to examine the joint without major traumatic surgery. Instead of using an operating microscope, the arthroscope is connected to a television camera so the surgical team can watch this microsurgery on a TV monitor. The entire operation takes place inside the knee in an area the size of a dime. Dr. Michael Kurtz is Audrey's surgeon. Before we had arthroscopy, uh, it was a common practice to make an incision in the knee uh, on either side of the patella and sometimes in the back. Uh, these incisions were uh, considerably more painful and took a longer time to heal. And then there was more scarring afterwards and more stiffness to work out. With the arthroscope, we get almost total visualization of the structures within the knee joint. Audrey has been having problems with her left knee for approximately a year and a half now, and uh, other methods of therapy, uh, including uh, medications such as aspirin, and the use of physical therapy have really not helped. She's been uh, bothered by the knee giving way and uh, pain about the kneecap. Using the arthroscope, Dr. Kurtz was able to find the damaged tissue in Audrey's knee and remove it. After a successful operation, the source of her pain was eliminated, and only four hours later, she was walking. Although microsurgery is not recommended for every kind of surgery, where it is indicated, the benefits of micromedical technology are great. For Audrey Palombi, it means being able to continue dancing without pain. Thank you.